it is really like riding on a magic carpet and it's quite a, it's quite a strange sensation as the skipper to be standing at the helm and looking at waves coming towards the boat or waves coming on your beam and you know as an experienced skipper that the boat should now roll and actually it doesn't. It's quite an entertaining experience to look at the flat horizon and you look at it and you think this isn't right. I honestly cannot think of a single downside or trade-off that you make when specifying fin stabilizers. Absolutely nothing. I don't like to prioritize between a stabilization system that is good underway and good at anchor. To be blunt, I would like both. It's not uncommon for boaters based around here to do 100 miles to Corsica in a, in a, westerly, a westerly wind with a, with a beam C on your starboard side. And this system allows me to do that without thinking too hard about it in a force 5 or a force 6 wind, or more likely to get home in a force 5 or a force 6 wind to catch my plane home. It's wonderfully efficient at anchor. If you look at the anchorage we're in now, it's kind of typical. In a photograph, this would look very calm, but there is actually a gentle swell coming through the anchorage. And I guess uh, you can see the boats behind me, some of them are rolling gently to maybe a little bit too much. And this system completely eliminates that roll. The stabilizers add maybe three or 4% to the cost of the boat, but they add 50%, 100% to the usability of the boat. You can't even quantify it. If you go out on your boat for the day with a group of friends and they're seasick, that's a lousy day. The, st the stabilizers can make a beautiful day when otherwise it would have been a lousy day. How do you quantify the cost of that? As the owner or operator or skipper of a boat, seasickness is quite a big deal. For the people who suffer from it, it's crippling, it's horrible. As an estimate, I'd say that the stabilizers take away 80%, maybe 90% of the whole seasickness issue. I think that there is an emerging list of experienced owners now who will only consider a boat with stabilizers. A boat builder that doesn't offer stabilizers will not make even the shortlist for quite a large number of customers these days. Um, someone of my age who's addicted to boating has probably got about another five boats that they're going to buy in their life. I will never buy another boat without stabilizers. And so I, I want a system that is effective underway and effective at anchor. And the Sleipner system gives me that. 